Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. We're here. We're at the campground. It's beautiful blue skies. The dogs have already walked around the campground once and they've had their breakfast. Did you have your breakfast? Was it amazing? Did you already get lots of pets from lots of people? Do you realize that, that daddy is unloading windows from his Jeep so we can go for a ride? I'm making water reflections on the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What was that, Kira? Oh, reflection. There's a reflection? Oh my goodness. It's the greatest. So yeah, in case you didn't catch that yesterday, we brought this Jeep to tow the trailer. We brought that one to go have some fun in. <laughs> are you excited? Yo, oh, are you excited too? Tell us all about it. All right, we're gonna load up, hit the road, and go see some stuff. There's a parasailer over there. He's getting ready to go up. Oh, I do see him See him? He's getting ready. Grand Traverse Bay. We're leaving, the, we're literally pulling out of the campground. I always forget, we're in Traverse City. Yeah, I might go right now. Yeah, it's busy, yay. So if you're ever wondering what Traverse City looks like in the summertime, it looks like this. It's 12.30, it's stop and go hey, traffic. Up? So there's Jamie and the dogs. We're in Empire, Michigan. And we found this really cute little cafe called the Shipwreck Cafe. And you know us and wanting to eat sandwiches strange places. We're gonna get it. I got a little buzzer thing so I know when my food's ready. So if you don't know, Empire, Michigan is a little tiny town. Little tiny town just outside of Sleeping Bear Dunes. So Sleeping Bear Dunes is just up the road that way. We're starving so we're gonna get some food and then go to the dunes. What, do you think I got you a sandwich? Do you think I got you a kid's sandwich with turkey and cheese on it? I totally did. I totally got you a sandwich, it's coming. So the sandwich we both got is called the Fitzgerald. It looks beautiful and it's on a homemade pretzel bun. So it's Big. like a, yeah, it is, yeah, it's way bigger than I thought, so. <laughs> Eat up, I got See. a knife if you want it cut in half. Do you remember this paper? I do, we <laughs> used to use that at the deli. I know, I thought that was so cute. It's a cute place inside there. Yeah. All outdoor seating, so I assume they're yeah. probably seasonal. Okay, I got you a sandwich. <laughs> small bites. Small, no, it's not a small bite. It was actually pretty small. Actually, it was a pretty small bite. Okay, small bite. Oh man, small bite. Oh man, you can't eat the whole thing. I gotta make sure. Okay, <laughs> good. small bite. Oh, you both got it. Good. One more. <laughs> that was a good one. And last bite. Oh okay. man. Yeah, All right, that was it. We'll save the other half for later. Is it good? Good stuff. Yeah, does the best sandwich you ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are on Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive. Heading into Sleeping Bear Dunes, going to the Overlook. This is gorgeous back here. So we're at the first stop on this road. This is Glen Lake, which is actually a lake built by glaciers, which most of the Great Lakes are. And the dunes are right over there. So we're heading that way. All right, so we are at the, I think there's a couple overlooks on this road, but we're at the first overlook for Sleeping Bear Dunes. So we're hiking down here. We're gonna, oh, look at the pretty purple flowers. I'm easily distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we were already up there once. Look at those pretty purple flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty. Oh yeah, you get a lot of rubs, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the pets. <laughs> On to the next overlook. We're at the Lake Michigan overlook. All right, girls, this is where you're gonna get warm. All right. This is where it's gonna be a little warm. Yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna go up in here. Come on, let's do this.
Once long ago, across the Great Lake in Wisconsin, there was a terrible hunger and many people and animals died. A bear and her two little cubs, desperate for food, left that place to swim the long distance to the other side of the lake. After a while, the cubs became very tired, and so the bear said, try hard, the land is not very far. But gradually, the cubs weakened. Exhausted, one cub sank into the water when they were within sight of the land, and soon after, the other one also drowned. The bear's heart was broken, but she could do nothing. She waded ashore and climbed the bluff to lie down looking out on the water where her cubs had died. However, both of them surfaced as two little islands, and so the bear still lies there now, looking after her children. So basically, its Sleeping Bear was named by this legend of the mama bear, which is the big dunes, and the two islands, which were the baby bears. I don't know if you can tell how much of a hill this is, but we're on a boardwalk up here. Hi. Hi. Yeah, there you can see how steep of a hill it is. They say it so, takes about 15 minutes to get down and an hour to get back up. So, this five, five people. The guy's, he's done. He's like, ah, I'm going to take a break right here. It's a ways down. Just to get to the water. Look at how little that boat is <laughs> compared to where we're at. That is not a little boat. And those are not miniature people. <laughs> and those aren't miniature kayaks. Way out there. Holy cow. Oh my god, I quit. Are we there yet? No! Oh man, I don't think you will ever get to the bottom of this hill. <laughs> Look how hard you're trying. It's like, oh man, nice and cold down here. Are you gonna do it? Look at her go. Yeah. All right, now we gotta fill the hole back in. <laughs> Memphis, you don't wanna try digging? Do I dig? Oh man, look at, look at me go. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. Hey, it's throwing sand down <laughs> No, you don't wanna try? You know, Maybe? <laughs> So what's in here? Drop a treat in there, she'll dig for it. No way. <laughs> All right, on to the next overlook. And don't worry, we're filling in her hole. <laughs> Jamie will jump on it, make sure nobody falls in. You almost made it. Oh my God, I quit. Oh, and then there's trees. Blocked our view. Maybe we will go back over. This might be the tallest sand hill around. Maybe. <laughs> you girls did? Yeah. All right, heed the warning. Heed the warning. You go down, you gotta come back up this way. Yeah. <laughs> well, for $3,000, you get a free ride up. All right, we just made it back from Sleeping Bear Dunes. What do you gotta show me? Oh my lord, that's a, that's a shoe full of sand. Yeah, you definitely had some sand in your shoe there. It's still all over my socks too. Hold yeah. on, we got another one. You got two? I got two. No, this one is bad. way more full. Oh, no. Yep. Way I, more full. I have a little <laughs> bit in my shoes, but not that much. I'm a pile of sand yeah. on the ground. Nice. All right, cool. All right, well, there's, we'll leave the dunes here. Yeah, good plan. <laughs> so after being up at the top of this hill, we are now at the bottom of this hill. This is actually the dune climb, so, which is not as high up as we were. <laughs> no, no, and it's definitely not as far of a climb no. as before, but I'm pretty sure you can climb to the top of the hill, you can see the, the same water, things we just yep, saw. the same stuff we saw, and then you can climb back down and it's not actually that hard. Yeah. So there it is. We're not getting out, we're not climbing up it. <laughs> I guess I could drive in front of it for you. Yeah, but we had to come check it out. So we're in Glen Haven right now, which is right on the water. This was like a old historic lumber town, agricultural town. One of the first little towns in this area. And they have a lot of the shops are actually like open, or buildings I guess you could say, are actually open and you can go in and check them out. There's a blacksmith shop up here. Looks like this was somebody's house. And if you get out and walk, you can read all the signs. They have like signs about each building. The dogs are a little bit warm, so we're just driving through to check it out. But they're redoing this one right now. These are little houses where people used to live here. They're kind of cool. Right on the water. And now we're in Glen Arbor. These little towns are so cute. They have so many cute little shops. 
Ooh, there's a nice place to eat. The pine cone. I think it was the an ice cream. I think it was an ice cream place. Look at an Iga. There's an IGA. There's always like little little bed and breakfasts and little art shops and little like look by our stuff shops. Oh, it's it so smells fun. so good. No. So much bed cute breakfast. stuff. The totem shop in Glen Arbor. Mm -hmm. hmm. We're on our way to Leland is where we're going. Wow that look at that place is cool. I don't know what it is, but it just looks cool. <laughs> Next time on Snow Dogs Vlogs. She's like, I see that one right there. He's gonna come get me. Huh? Oh yeah, shake that belly. We made it the way. You did. Oh, I picked up a green one because I liked yep. it. Okay, I got stuff. Now that is the happiest dog ever. Mm -hmm.